Can I sneak up on this guy? <laughs> yes. Ollie, stop talking. You're ruining the moment. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As you can see today we are trying out Enemy Dexters, which is basically Code Vein. <laughs> I've been really looking forward to this game and I played the demo and I absolutely adored it. So we're going to play this and see how many times I get killed. Probably an awful lot, let's be honest. <laughs> now I have played a little bit of it. so. I played the demo, I've also had a little bit go on my own, so I have a little idea of what I'm doing, so we'll see what happens. Good morning. Hey, hey. Can you hear me? I can. Hello there. Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. I remember my name. It is Jinx. Whoops. Nope. Thank you very much. And then we'll do Jinx Jambo because I might have one or two friends that might join me on this. So let's make it easy enough for them to find me. I am a female. Now, this is the character customization. It is very in depth. And I've got to say, I probably might have one episode or two where I just solely make a character because it's so much fun. You have the basic one where you can have a basic character and you can just start out from there and then work from that because there are so many pretty sets and some of them are pretty good and pretty amazing I've got to say some of them are a bit weird like I love this one this one's just so cool I love that so yeah there's quite a lot you can do with that you've got advanced settings such as your physique your hair your skin your face your eyes as well which I found was really cool the fact that you can actually change your irises to however you want them to be I thought that was quite interesting all the other bits and bobs like your equipment you can put accessories on them such as hats I mean who doesn't want a, a lovely hat on your character like a little top hat <laughs> if you want to go the extreme your outfit your clothing you can change the color of the, all that as well but I have, as I say, already played it, so I'm going to load my lady in, which is this lovely lady here. Ooh, we'll zoom back out. So this is my character that I used in my demo, and I'm going to be used through. If you want to have a more in-depth look into the character customization, I can do a side uh, video, possibly going through into it more in-depth, but you'll have to let me know. I'm not going to do it now because I could literally be in here for maybe an hour, and no one wants to me to just do to see me do that right now so we're going to get in the game and use this one and this is me yeah that's what you look like now we can finally meet we can finally come and say hello Oh, here we go. Hello, honey. We finally meet. Are you clear headed? No, probably not. You'll be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Okay. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their veins, called a blood code. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Oh. So you have different classes, you've got your blood code which essentially is like some of your stats so you can get like a fighter, a caster, a hunter, a mage and as you progress through the game I believe as you make friends with fellow allies you can learn their blood codes as well. I particularly like the fighter one but I have as I say played it a little bit myself and I do quite like one that we're going to get a bit later on from one of the main characters but we'll have our lovely lady friend here going a bit more in depth because she'll be able to probably be able to explain it a little bit better than me. So now we can equip abilities to do with the blood code. Give it a try. There we go. 
said the gift will not work unless it is prepared in advance. I forgot something important. You need special blood to activate gifts. This blood comes from revenants who have forgotten themselves and turned into monsters. Yeah, there you go. That's what she's telling us. Smack you the face! Come on, show me the bad guy. I want to stabby stabby him. Woo! Here he is. Hello, bro. You want some? Whoop! Ow! I really need to learn how to. Um... Oh, backstab! Nice. I need to learn how to parry because that is where I fail on this game. I can't parry for anything, and dodging doesn't help with everything. So here we go, we've learned a new one. This is the Ranger Blood Code, so let's equip this. So yeah, different classes determine what weapons you can use, so you'd have to use different ones, such as this one. We can't use the heavy weapons because we're very nimble, so it's too heavy for our weak little fragile bodies. So we got a gun instead. We have to drain him, apparently. So let's try this. Ow, okay, ow. Let's try this. Can I? There we go. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. The caster blood code, if you want to be oh magician edition, eh? Here we go. So now we can go. So this is essentially like a bonfire, so we level up, we can teleport, change our party members and learn new codes, which we're going to do now. So acquire gifts, so you've got all your different classes on here, and then you can click on them, like this one, and learn the different classes. Now if you're on, say, the caster code, and you've been on it for quite a while, you can master it, but then you can also then equip that particular skill say this skill from the caster range if you learn it enough and master it you can then equip it on to your fighter pack pack code <laughs> so now she wants me to equip it there we go and then we're gonna go to an enemy and fire projectiles at his face. One, two, and then we'll just be pathetic and slap him. <laughs> Did I do good? It's all quite sudden, but you picked it up, right? The disappearance of your blood code has left you with unique, limitless capabilities. Not only can you change blood codes, but you can acquire new ones as well. The strength of others can become your own. You 
She's so small. So yeah, there you go. As she was saying, you can meet people along the way and you can essentially learn their blood codes and then use their skills for your own. Hi! Welcome back. If I'm being honest, not too great. Is this where we get to move? Oh, very, very slowly though. Oh god, sorry, love any looks right up your skirt then. I do apologize. A little bit. I mean, it's a bit of a fixer upper. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, I look dead. It's so, alright, love. Give me, give me about ten years, and I'll soon catch up. I'm still coming. I'm still coming. It's a magical tree. Oh, I'm freaking out. It's all right. It's all right. Excuse me, what are you doing? D d uh! She bit me. Excuse me, I did not consent to this. Bright light! Bright light! <laughs> so, it is you. Thank you, thank you very much. 
Does that make me feel better? Am I not dying anymore? I look very comfortable right there in that little girl's lap. Even though I don't think I even know who she is. A new spring and a fresh oh, source of labor. Hello. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. <laughs> huh? You talking about me? Okay, she dead. No, she not dead. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> God, I'm morbid. What is the shiny? Hello. Oh, thank you. This is my mask. Do I have to? I mean, I didn't consent to this hard slave labor. I don't think any of these guys probably did. <sighs> Fine, I'm coming. This one's dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. Damn it. I mean, what did that bush ever do to you? Collection. Everything's ready. Right. You, you'll, you'll make all the hippies mad. Hi. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> Oh, okay. That was a bit uncalled for. You know what these are, right? Blood beads. Get the lady a prize. Beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. I have no idea who that well, is. That's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. I'm completely confused. I have no you idea what he's talking first. about. Get to work. All I know is that there's magic trees and those vampires need them. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. Excuse me, get your hands off my girl. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Oh, thanks for that vote of confidence there, mate. Even though I have no clue who this hunter guy is. I don't know what's happening! You heard him. Move it! <laughs> ouch! D did he just say ouch? Okay? <laughs> yeah, we're good. Back up from here. Heard a what though? We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Ollie Wally. Okay, this is where we finally get into the thick of it then, I see. So, from what I've made out so far, we are vampires, sort of, and we need some sort of blood beast to sustain us and keep us alive, and apparently the trees or whatever they are, dry it up. But somehow, excuse me, but somehow our blood activates it somehow. Because we're special. So we're going to be very important, I presume, to the story. Hence we're the main character, obviously. <laughs> so we've been sent down here by whoever these guys are. No clue who the silver or whatever is. I presume we'll learn more as we go along. But he sent us into the cave to try and find some blood bleeds so we can help our little friend up there. Can I go for here? No, of course I can't. So this is a little missile 
So from here, we can level up, acquire skills, and also... Da -da -da -da, save our game. Can I level up yet? No, I haven't got anything yet. So, we've got little Ollie Wally with us, and I think before we proceed ahead and go smack some people up, let's have a little look. I'll take this. Thank you very much. Oh, that block. Can I sneak up on this guy? <laughs> yes. Ollie, stop talking. You're ruining the moment. You, you're dead, right? Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, there's another one there. Oh, there's another one here, though. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god, I do no damage. Take that. Did the other one not see us? Oh no, he didn't. Peekaboo! I'm gonna hit you with my thick. Did him. So yes, I know this. We've got our equipment here, so we can use these to get our health back. Again, we've only got limited uses. Hello, brother. Oh, yeah, right. that took me maybe like five or six hits just to get him down to half health, and Ollie just comes over and one taps him like, "Don't worry, I'll take care of that for you." Oh, we got a new axe. I shall be using that. Oh, this is much better. Which way do you think is Each piece of equipment has a stat requirements and weight, setting your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Da, 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 da. Okay, so it's kind of just like the Dark Souls weight then. Okay, he got destroyed. I'm not going to complain. Hey, of course there was a guy hiding behind it. Can I push him off? No. Would have been good if we pushed him off. I think this is the right way, so let's go the other way and see what we can find over here. Oh, hi. Oh, wrong one. Oh, that was onto the long one. Ow! Don't appreciate it, man. That hurt. Pick this up as well. Thank you very much. And we'll go this way. And we'll see what's through here. Oh, I want a triangle. Oh, sorry. I was trying to learn something. Didn't mean to disturb you. Oh, well. Don't matter anymore. <laughs> oh, hi. He's gonna shoot me, innit? He's gonna try to. Not going to let you, though! Pick up all this stuff because I'm going to need it, but I do not know what I use it for. No, Ollie, it wasn't. It sounds like you're dying very slowly. How are oh. you I'm fine, you thank you. Right? We should find some blood beads and go back for them quick. Tell you what, he doesn't shut up, does he? So not people can say that about me. Oh, hello. Is there gonna be any more that I'm gonna drop on my head? Maybe? No? Okay. Use the ladder. Oh, it's another bush. Boop. Okay, so that's upgrade our surrounded area. Aha! We come back to the beginning. And it looks like we've got some new armor as well. Oh yeah, I don't know if it's any better than the one we've got though. It doesn't give us. We lose a bit of physical defense. Get more scaling, we got more decks, we got more crush. Um I think the one we've got is better. Highly resistant to stun effects. Okay, I suppose we can wear this. Oh, it's the jacket like that guy from upstairs. 
Gotta say though, it shows off all the girls' lovely assets there. <laughs> right, guys, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. So we've had a bit of a play around. We've been introduced to one or two characters. Don't know how long they might stick around for, but I gotta say I'm enjoying it so far, and I really hope the rest of you are as well. And I am hoping to upload these every now and again because I'm trying to start uploading every um, what is it Tuesday, Friday, and Sundays UK. Um, probably maybe around six o'clock time so keep an eye out make sure you try out my videos and tell me what you're doing down in the comments and if you do like what i'm doing i would really appreciate it if you give me a cheeky like and a subscribe if you feel like you want to i can need all the help i can get let's be honest <laughs> but no i really appreciate you all watching i hope you have a great day and i'll see you on the next one bye